Did you know as a first time home buyer, there are down payment assistance programs that will provide up to 5% in down payment assistance? Did you also know that you don't have to be a first time home buyer to qualify for down payment assistance? Yes, lots of great insights for this session. Thank you again for tuning in to get those updates. Of course, folks, we spent the last few weeks discussing interest rates, its trajectory and where things are going, but let's pivot today to discuss uh, down payment assistance. That's very important in the market that we're in because we are in a buyer's market. And if you don't own a home, you definitely wanna pay attention to this message. One of the most populous programs that we use nationwide is through the Shanoa Fund. Take a look at the information that we'll present there. It is a great uh, program. Uh, we can use it nationwide. And of course, here at American Financial Network, we are in all 50 states nationwide, coast to coast, across the country. And of course, we can help you where you are located. We've used this program in South Carolina, in Texas, uh, in different places, Arizona, to help people. In fact, we've helped first-time home buyers take full advantage of that 5% uh, towards down payment assistance. And we've helped repeat buyers as well purchase and get additional funds to help them in other endeavors. Folks, you are buying a home. The question is, is the home for you or is the home for someone else? Stop paying rent, giving your money away and buying property for other people. Invest in you. It will be the best investment you'll make. My contact information is right there. Reach out to us. Love to help you see what we can do to help you qualify for that program. And specifically speaking to folks here in California, because of course that's the state that I reside in, there is a great program, a super robust program that's available for you. It is the Cal HFA program. We call it Cal HEFA. With this program, it is, as I mentioned earlier, super robust. You can actually get up to 10% in down payment assistance uh, for your home as a first time home buyer. Of course, there's income um, considerations. My contact information is there. Shoot me a message. I'd love to discuss what we can do for you and possibly get you up to 10% and down payment assistance and get this. Uh, for those well-qualified buyers who meet the program requirements, um, if you stay in your home for the requisite amount of time, that 10% down payment assistance is forgivable. Forgivable, let me tell you, they want, uh, here in California, home ownership is very important. Stable communities are very important and the state is ponying up to make sure that happens. As I mentioned earlier, you are buying a home. The question is, is the home for you or is the home for someone else? Contact me. My information is right there. Love to see how I can help you take advantage of the Cal Heffa program here in California. Okay, let's pivot for a moment to discuss interest rates. Folks, we have experienced these past two weeks a nice breath of fresh air, a reprieve in rates. In fact, this week, this past week, I should say, rates ended at a very low level. I think on average, again, this is average. Uh, five and a half percent well-qualified buyers naturally we can get you far under that we're helping folks get in that four percent level uh, if you have any questions about the rate you're receiving uh, and need a second opinion reach out to us we'll love to help you there as well to make sure you're taking advantage of great rates but as i mentioned earlier a great week of rates take a look at the information i'll, I'll provide for you there uh, just ending on a great note well why is this happening well as we've been discussing these past few weeks the fed is poised to raise rates next week. We are looking at a three-quarter basis point rate uh, increase, if not more. I think that's where we'll be. 1% will definitely jolt the system, and I don't think they want to do that. And because of it, lenders are holding, um, you know, they're holding their powder dry. They're not raising their rates to, to get in front of that because uh, volume has been down. So what does this mean for buyers? This is your time. This is your golden time. Next week, as we get into the new week, the pricing will change. The same house you're looking for will be more expensive. So if you're working with anyone out there, it doesn't matter if you're working with another agent, get out there and buy your house. Buy it this week. It's a great time. Again, I'm here for you. My contact information is right there. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to see what we can do to help you get the home of your dreams. And as I love to do each and every week at the conclusion of uh, these videos is leave something very inspiring for you to take uh, with you uh, into the weekend and into next week. And of course, this one is wonderful. Take a look at it. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. A grateful heart 
is a magnet for miracles. Folks, we are spiritual beings living a human experience. We attract things by our energy. We talk about vibes and all that great stuff. Uh, even clients that we work with, it's all vibe related. And so gratitude is the beginning of all abundance. When you have gratitude, you attract things around you, great things around you. Those are the miracles uh, that are necessary in your life to get you all the answers, all the dreams that you're looking for. Gratitude, unlock your life, unlock goodness and greatness in your life, unlock success, unlock love by showing gratitude. Remember, it is the miracle. Gratitude is a miracle. It's a magnet for miracles in your life. Thank you again for tuning in to The Market Update. I am your host, Larry McCain with American Financial Network. Again, folks, continue to pray for all of the world with me particularly, of course, in Europe, in Russia, and Ukraine. Pray for those folks there. Let clear minds uh, be present and let peace uh, abound where it needs to, of course, all over across the world. Pray for Europe and, and Great Britain. Lots of heat there, of course, here as well. Pray for our country. Pray for unity. Pray for togetherness. Truth will always be truth no matter who speaks it. History will always record what is true. So continue to pray for those things. And folks, if you found this valuable, please share this on your page. Please tell someone, tag someone. I love helping people and I would love to help them. Again, look forward to seeing you next week. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. We'll see you soon.